So we had Charlie Webster in the studio earlier on, and um, she was explaining to us what, what we're going to hear in this documentary. Um, she's been working really hard to put it together. It's 9.30 this Sunday. Yeah. Um, we've learned a lot about dementia, really. It feels a lot more recently as more research goes into it. Um, Charlie, you were a part of this series for TalkSport as well. How worried are you about the effects of it? Because Charlie Webster was saying that are enough footballers playing now listening to these concerns? No is the brutally honest answer. And I was honest when I spoke to Charlie and, and said mm. to her about this. And look, I just think it's not talked about. It's not. If I don't head the football, someone else will in my team. And that's letting me not doing the job, someone else will. It's a team sport. It's an individual sport. It's dog eat dog. That is the way the football world is, unfortunately. Like I said, is it an illness that can affect me in 30, 40, 40 years time? Am I, am I w wor worried about it now? No. I, I'm, I'm honestly, that is the honest answer. I'm not worried about that now. One, because I do the best job, in, one of the best jobs in the world. It gives me a great lifestyle for my, myself, my family, my children. Would, that, would I know the risk of dementia? Is that going to prevent me from playing football and heading the ball? I just don't think so. For an illness that I could get in 30, 40 years' time, then I wouldn't change anything. Are your family worried about it? No. Do they know about it? No. Because it hasn't, and I, and I mean this, is because I think you find out more of it if it's happened in your family. If it's something that's close to you, then I think then you'll know more about it and you open up more to it. Mm -hmm. But it's not something that's discussed at my house or end up with the rest of my family. But let me tell you, it's not discussed in football change rooms now. Football change rooms right yeah. now. And I don't, Ali, I don't know if it was in your day, but let me tell you, it's not discussed now because if I don't head the football... Someone else will that's in my position. Yeah. That is the long and short of it. And there's no actual getting away from that. So as much as we try and get the PFA to do stuff outside of football and for later on, oh, I think they should, definitely, 100%. But at this moment, for men, adults in the football, professional players, it's not possible for to to prevent heading as, as much. Mm. I, I really don't think that. Ali, you might be able to shed some light on this as well. I'm just wondering whether through the years <coughs> of football, whether it's changed in training. Are th is there less heading in training? Um, not really, I don't think. You know, I, I, I still, th you know, after training, centre-backs would always, you know, they'd get a few balls drilled up to them and, and head the ball away. You know, I, I, I definitely think it's now becoming... You know, the fact we are talking about it is bringing it to the forefront of everybody's attention. And what really hits home with myself are people now of a generation that I, I can relate to. Big Gordon McQueen, for example. Big Gordon Palaming. You know, at least I live in the next village in, in Kilmacomb. Brilliant big fella. And and Haley's on the television yesterday talking mm. about it. You know, and it's, it's heartbreaking to see. Heartbreaking to see. But... I'm with Charlie in the respect that I, 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 I don't worry about it, right? But I tell you what I do, I've started thinking about it, you know, which which obviously, there, and there'll be thousands of people like myself up and down the country. I don't worry about it because I don't feel there's any point in, in concerning yourself in something that could, could happen or couldn't happen. But when I listen to somebody like, I can understand Cass worrying about it, you know, where it's been in his family and he's already had an operation, a head operation. So I totally understand that 100%. But I think the fact that we're now, as I say, talking about it, Charlie's on this morning, um, the show's going out at the weekend. It'll be a great listen. It'll be an absolutely brilliant listen. You know, the, 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 the people that are on it are, are clearly qualified. I, I just think, Charlie, the one statistic that hit me right away, and I went, oh, what about that? Is footballers have three and a half times. Are you laughing at my, oh, what about that? You were right? <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, footballers have three and a half times more mm. chance. I th that, that's, that made me sit back and say, dear me, that's an unbelievable stat. It's a really morbid one, actually. It's worse than that. It's three and a half um, times more likely to die. To die, yeah. yeah. Um, is it is it fair for me to say, Charlie, that, that at the moment, if if somebody is is giving you these stats and stuff like that, it is easier to go, no, 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 like I'm not going to listen to that. I just want to keep doing my job because the reality of it is is pretty grim. The the, the connection between the sport that you love and that, that you do daily mm. and that you train in and and you paid well for and fans watch yeah. and fans love the game as well. It's easier, isn't it, to just sort of go. Ah, let's worry about it later. It is it's so easy just to dismiss it. Yeah. But like I said, unless it's happened to, to someone in your family or someone yeah. close to you, you really don't take much notice of it. 
I think you go yeah. through every football club that's professionally in England and sat down and done a talk. There'd be a handful of players that it's affected, obviously, of the families mm. that's close to them. But the rest of them wouldn't be, wouldn't take much notice. So if you went from a meeting to a training one hour later and the balls was there still to be won, yeah. there'd be people heading it. Yeah. But it's an art. It's a skill now, mm -hmm. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That sounds mad, but it's a skill. It's a technique. That many goals are scored with your head. Tony Cascarino was saying, look, that was his game. You know, everything about yeah. his game w was that. And if he didn't have head in the football, he wouldn't have his game. Um, I've had a, We do get tweets like this a lot, actually. Chrissy Thornton said, every and any sport is going to have physical damage and injuries later in life. But, we, but are we really talking about heading a ball when you've got boxers and UFC fighters knocking lumps out of each other? Chrissy, this research isn't going, let's pick on football. This research is saying, here are the connections, here are the facts. You mm -hmm. can't really argue with, with facts when people are saying you are three and a half times more likely to die from this if you are heading your football. I'm sure that boxing has its own one as well. This documentary is specifically about football. So no, we're not picking on a specific foot. You can't pick on a specific sport when it's yeah. literally facts that are being made and um, that's not what's happening here they're literally reporting on what's happening and listening to footballers who are experiencing it now that's what this is all about and unfortunately i think people don't like it because because we're almost saying that football is under threat of changing and nobody yeah. likes change yeah. but unfortunately these are these are the reports that are being made. Um, Charlie, thank you for answering these questions. I know it's not easy, is it? And at least you're saying and you're being super honest about it. So it is good to hear the other side of, of what's going on in football as well. If you want to listen to this, um, Dementia in Football, Talk Sports Support for Change is a documentary hosted by Charlie Webster. It's coming out this Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Um, so make sure you listen to it. I think it's going to be really interesting.